Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Marketing Matters. I'm Sarah Touchstone, Landmark Titles, social media marketing strategist and educator. I get the pleasure of bringing you Marketing Matters for our third year in a row. Yes, that's right. 2023, we've got over 100 episodes. We brought on dozens of speakers uh, in the real estate industry, dozens of top producing agents, dozens of team leaders from around the Phoenix metro area. Thinking here in 2023, we're going to even get some takes on some people from outside the Phoenix market to give us some perspective of what's going on, not only here, but around the country. But for now, we're going to focus on the big things that are happening here in Phoenix at Landmark Title, because I am joined by our new, like you all can't read, obviously, but I'm going to do a big announcement just in case you guys aren't reading and you're just listening. I am joined today by Landmark Title's new VP of sales. We refer to her fondly as our sales manager, Cynthia Lujan. Yes. Insert clapping and cheering, (laughs) audio reel. So we're very excited because this is a big step for us here at Landmark Title. For those of you that have been with us for years, um, I'm, I'm in my third year with Landmark as well. And where I have seen us go in just three short years is incredible. Um, To be a part of a company that continues to focus on growth, that continues to focus on bringing in just the best people in the industry. Uh, I've never been part of an industry or a company where, I'm going to say this, everyone is amazing. Everyone is likable. Everyone is collaborative. Everybody not only pulls their own weight, but pulls everyone around them up. It is such a unique environment in a very competitive industry to have such a large number of of individuals that work together as one. um, and, And just that's really what it's about. We are in the industry of connecting people. We're in the industry of socializing. We're in the industry of really being um, there for people. And and I think, you know, as we saw through the pandemic and as we've continued to shift and grow from that, there's just such a great culture um, that we've, we've been able to create here at Landmark Title. So we're really excited to bring Cynthia into our nice warm blanket of love and culture. Um, And so I wanted to bring her on here at the beginning of the new year and talk a little bit about um, her background, where she came from and where we are going in this new year. So, because we don't have, we're just gonna be chatting today. We don't have a slideshow presentation. Cynthia, I'm gonna put both of our faces up. Hello. There's you. All right. (laughs) Let me see if I can get both of us up there. Video. All right, should have both of us up here. Cynthia, while we are going though, since you are front and center, I mean, we could end, this may be how you are front and center as well. You know what, you're front and center on my end, just so you know. And I'm on the bottom too. So we're both there. So, all right, well. It's, it's all, good. all good. Yeah, there it's we go. Good. I can turn my ratios. Oh, that's there you that's go. Not great. Right there. Let's dive in while I play with settings because really what everybody is here for is the words, not our pretty faces. Even though I'm sure that that's what we all think about when we get on Zoom. We're like, okay. I mean, a little bit. Adjust, little bit. adjust, adjust. Yeah. Uh, all right. So let's dive in and let's just talk a little bit. Let's get do a little get to know you. Get in and all about okay. you, Cynthia. Okay. So, so I know that you've had a chance to meet with some um, some people within Landmark. You and I had uh, the opportunity to sit down a couple of weeks ago um, and have a good time talking about what it is uh, that you know I do uh, at our company. And now you actually get to see it, which is fun. Um, yeah. 
but I'd love to know a little bit more about your background. Um, so, you know, start from, you know, you were born and you grew up. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that could be fun. Um, thank you, Sarah. It's such a fun opportunity to um, be here with all of you. And I feel really blessed to be here. So I'll just start by saying that 2023, I think is going to be, I know is going to be a year of growth for all of us if we choose that if we choose that. So a little bit about me and my background, and I can't wait to hear more about all of you. Um, I My famous line is, this has been a long summer job, me being in the title insurance business. Those of you who know me know that I say that all the time. And um, I started when I was 16 and um, working in Tucson and filing microfish. And that was back when, um, that was back when all the title officers, you know, smoked in the office. And it was kind of like one of my jobs to put out all the ash, you know, put out all the cigarette butts. So we didn't light the whole, you know, file room on fire. So I would go home smelling like a bar every day. So that's, that's where I started in Tucson. Um, and so then I moved up to Tempe because I got into ASU. I graduated in 98 from Arizona State U University. Go Devils. Woo! Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go Devils. Sorry <laughs> about all of those U of A fans. Um, sorry, not although, sorry, Cynthia. Yeah. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> and so my husband would be, have been very proud of me right now. So, um, Anyway, so graduated from ASU and I had a lot of job offers coming out of ASU and I just stuck with title. So one of my, um, one of my big passions is training and development. And so when I, um, when I graduated, I got, and I helped start and build a department, our training and development programs at um, a huge title company, you, you all know what it is. And I was there for 17 years and, um, and I, I loved doing that. I loved creating workshops, um, training internal employees and my buddy who was leading the sales team at that time came up to me and he said, Hey, uh, you'd be good in sales. Um, would you ever consider that? And I thought, I don't even know what you people do, but yeah, sounds like a great idea. So I got into sales and I built my business in, you know, kind of furthering my training and development field into my sales career at um, a big title company. And that's how I built my business. A lot of you may remember Tempo. So I got started when I first started in sales, um, MLS was launching a big, um, you know, they were getting rid of their DOS-based system and launching web-based MLS. And that was a big deal for everybody. I'm telling you, agents were freaking out going, you know, I don't need to be online. What is online? So I saw a need and I created material and I did a roadshow training thousands of agents on Tempo. So in fact, to this day, people will come up and say, look, Cynthia, I still have your, 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 you know, your job aid on Tempo. It's hysterical. So I built, built my um, business around that. And then um, I left that title company to join my previous company. And I was with my previous group for 18 years. So I did not take this move lightly at all, I'll just say. So, um, and so that's kind of my, you know, my career stuff personally, love my family and my father, actually, I'll kind of jump back. My father was the one who got me into this business. So those of you who have been around for a long time, my father is C. David McVeigh. He has been a real estate trainer in the Valley and all throughout Arizona for 
for as long as I can remember. So I was really born in the business. My whole family is in the business. We love real estate and love my family for getting me into this crazy business we're in that I love so much. So oh, Cynthia, you are a yeah. legacy. I think yeah. that means I'm 50 now. Does, <laughs> is, does, does that mean I'm old? No. Okay. No, no, that just <laughs> means that means that you are you are part of the family business. You are yes, carrying exactly. on the legacy. And it has yes. nothing to do with age. Okay. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Not a day over 30, Cynthia. That's right. So 17 years, that's a, an incredible, incredible time to be obviously not only in just one industry, especially real estate. I always say real estate is. Um, we're a band of misfits. You know, most people in real estate were doing something else in life that somehow trans transitioned them over to the world of real estate. Most people did not come out of high school, did not come out of college and be like, you know what? I'm going to go get into real estate. That's a great idea. Most people did something else and came into real estate. However, you pretty much have been in this all your life. So that's that's incredible. I mean, such a wealth of knowledge. And obviously, you made it through the 2008 era. Tell me yes. a little bit about what you did, because I know, you know, this is not the same. The market shift that we're going through is not the same. However, we love talking about 2008 in Phoenix. It was, don't mm -hmm. think we will ever, ever, ever get away from that. Our great grandkids will be talking about 2008 in Phoenix real estate market. So tell me a little bit about how your business um, was able to still grow and thrive. And what did you do to make it through that kind of transition in our real estate market? And then we'll talk about you know, where we are now. You know, uh, in 2008, I was thinking a little bit about this over the last couple of days, actually. 2008, as we know, it was different because we had, um, we certainly had opportunity in 2008. And in any slower downturn of a market, if we all just choose to change our mindset when we're looking at that market and take the time, which is so hard to do in our business because we're all just running so quick to take the time and look at what our problem is, where the market is and evaluate our business. Our current model may need to be tweaked a little bit. So I've certainly done that present day, but going back to 2008, we were, and you know, we are here as well, we, we were all hands on deck. So meaning we had the opportunity. Okay. I know that people have post-traumatic stress around this, but you know, remember those short sales and the foreclosures. So back during that time, we looked, you know, we made connections with the banks, everything that we could do to get into that short sale game. And I believe my friend Tiffany, who's here at Landmark, remembers this well. Um, we would do, um, what were they? They were the short sale sales that were held out of these big warehouses and conference rooms. It was crazy. Tiffany and there says was all auctions. Auctions. Thank you, Tiffany. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I, I'm going, okay, what, were, what did we do back then? Okay. So we did auctions. And that was such a cool time. I mean, we grinded, didn't we, Tiffany? I mean, until 10, 11 o'clock at night, we were there and there were selected title companies who were chosen for these auctions. Now, if you look at, if you look at the auctions and you're just flipping deals and you're flipping packages and I'm there acting like I'm an S officer, you know, and, um, and, but if you look at the people who are involved, all of these you know, agents that were invo involved with short, you know, short sales, foreclosures, they were turning and burning just absolutely. They saw the need in the market. They went all in. I'm always visionary thinking, okay, what's coming up. This isn't going to last forever. How can I support 
these people and add value so that when the hose is turned off on foreclosure, they're set up for success later. Um, a lot of people took my advice and coaching and a lot of people didn't. And so what I did with um, folks that weren't even our clients at the time, I would sit with them and, and actually help them create their database within the foreclosure space so they did not lose track of those people in the future when that hose was turned off. I cultivated a lot of, a lot of business and relationships adding value on that level, knowing what was to come in a couple of years. So that's just one example, but, but bottom line, any, any market is a market to grab market share for the future. So it's all about taking that time to look and evaluate your business for all of us. Oh, I agree. I mean, our real estate industry, it, I mean, especially when we go back the last couple of years, it was so fast paced. I mean, nobody, nobody had a chance to, you know, even breathe for about two years. But now we really are in a great period um, in our market to take the time. Like if you really are still running around, you may find that you are spinning your wheels and you're not getting anywhere. I think that's one of the hardest things. Um, I, I've noticed a lot of people in the industry, we kind of all have the squirrel mentality, um, but to take the time and to sit down, you know, maybe sitting down with your business development managers here at Landmark Title and going over, you know, not only, you know, your goals, but helping to set up what the next steps of your real estate, um, you know, business plan are going to be because we are in a time where we've gone from, you know, one market to the next market, to the next market, to the next market, as opposed to, you know, a period of consistency. Um, so moving forward to now, Cynthia, and we are, we are kind of, you know, getting out of, of the consistency. There's a lot of uneasiness. Um, people aren't sure what really is coming next. And even though we'd like to pretend that we all have this crystal ball and we'd like to instill confidence, um, you know, for our agents and for our buyers and our sellers, what do you kind of see out there right now that is really going to help promote real estate agents to not only, I don't even like thinking of them just staying afloat, but really thriving because this is still a great market for agents to thrive in. What do you see them having the abilities to do right now to not only survive, but thrive? So let's talk about a, thri a thriving mindset. So honestly, a lot of people that I talk to right now are opposite of that thriving mindset. So, you know, if, if you're looking, if you're looking to go out and get business, however, you're struggling yourself, work on yourself first and then go after it. So I always take the position of action feels good. So instead of being non-action, putting our heads in the sand, and waiting for the market to do its job, we need to go out there and prospect. So I understand that this webinar that we're on right now is called Marketing Matters. There's two ways in my mind right now that we can shift, you know, shift our own businesses and that's marketing and that's prospecting. For, for now, um, marketing is always important, our branding, all of that stuff. But prospecting right now is so key with all of us, our business development man managers, myself, you, Sarah, realtors, lenders. In a shrunken market, this is our time to build market share for the future. And so for me, what that means is, you know, more phone calls you know, more belly to belly, you know, the marketing, a lot of people are just using only social media, et cetera, 
for their marketing, but they also need to really incorporate the, the prospecting. And, you know, if, if I hear one more time, okay, it's time to get back to the basics. <laughs> I, I, I mean, but it's true. So people, to your point, Sarah, we all have that shiny object syndrome, you know, the squirrel deal where we get unfocused on, uh, you know, what, what we're doing. Take the time now to meet with your business development manager or your coach or both even better to take a look at, all right, I want to grab some market share. What does that mean? Every little thing that we do matters right now. So, you know, let's look at our, our current, our current business. Who do I need to lean into right now? So let's not run away from them. The, the person that they're going to use is the person that they hear from the most, the person that they see the most. So let's all look at our databases. Who do we need to lean into? Okay, let's lean in to those guys. All right. Now, can we ask for referrals from them? Perfect. Let's ask, let's add value, ask for referrals, and then move on to, all right, let's follow up with those referrals. Let's go out and get some new market share. Let's, let's lean into this. You may not see the results right now, but you're cultivating those results for, for later. So keep showing up in that, in that way. I always think, you know, how do I, those of you who follow Buffini know this phrase, how have I won the day? So choose your five non-negotiables for your everyday activities, whatever those are. Maybe that's 10 phone calls. Maybe that's five note cards, et cetera. Choose your five non-negotiables for actually prospecting and make sure that those are done every single day and then get busy with your work. But the prospecting piece is so critical right now, but it's also about our mindset and choosing that we're going to take this as an opportunity. So one, one thing I was talking to my brother, my brother is in the, um, in the business as well, you know, it's a family business, but he's on the way, you know, other side of town. And I asked him, I said, you know, are you, are you seeing a lot of folks out there just really hustling? He said, no, opposite. So let's not be those people. Let's keep on showing up on these types of webinars, fueling our soul, fueling our minds, turn off the news and um, go, go get them. Yeah. I love, I love that you brought up mindset because it really, it, th this is crazy and this is going to sound a little hippy dippy, but mm -hmm. There is so much that goes into our industry that really is almost about manifesting what it is that you want. Like if you put that out there, then I see this so frequently, you achieve it just by putting it out there, you know, instead of, you know, when it comes to prospecting, instead of being like, oh, I know I need to be door knocking. I know this is something I need to do. You get to door knock. You get to go interact with people. Instead of feeling burdened by, you know, making calls, think about it like I get to make calls. How lucky am I that I actually get to go out there and I get to connect with people every day? A couple of years ago, I saw a really great quote. Um, I think it was related to real estate people. And I'm, and I'm going to muddle it up probably, but it's something along the lines of somewhere in my city, somebody today needs my help. My job is to go find that person and, and like fulfill their needs. So when you change that mindset, you know, it's not that you're starving and you need to go find clients. It's that you have a service that you can bring to somebody and your job is that you need to find that person that needs your service. Because I guarantee you, there's somebody that needs you and you just maybe haven't found them or you have found them, but now is the time that you need to follow up with them. And so frequently we see that happening all the time. You'll call somebody and they'll be like, how did you know that I need that you are on my list to call? And you're like, well, I'm just good like that. You know, I, I've got a, share, a story to share with you, Sarah. Um, you brought up a really, really good point. So I was mentoring this, this new realtor. This was just a couple of months ago. 
And I took a lot out of our meeting. Um, she has so much to offer. She, she was a previous um, stager. She still stages. And she is hooked up with the elderly community because of, um, you know, because of her folks. She's got a great network. And a lot of us are right now in, in my, uh, you know, age bracket are dealing with our aging families. Okay. We were talking, we're peeling back the onion, asking questions. And she said, you know, I just don't want to, I just don't want to bother. I just don't want to bother them. You know, they're, they're, they're in their last, you know, stages of life. I don't want to bother them. And I asked, are most of these people in their original homes? And she said, yep. And a lot of them are thinking about downsizing. And I asked her the question, what if you didn't show up for them and they didn't know your services? Because what we had talked about is she could be the one to go in and stage their new downsize take all that furniture from their previous home that they love so much, get it all set up beautifully in their downsize, either, you know, assisted living space or just a smaller home, et cetera. And she could ease that transition for the people that she adores. And she's got over a hundred of these people. And I said, what if you didn't help them? What if they didn't know that, that you were there to help them with this transition because it's a huge transition. A lot of us are dealing with it right now. And what if some other agent went in? They don't know their story. They don't know that they raised their, you know, three kids here over the last 40 years and all the memories and, and how important this transition. What if you didn't share? And the light bulb went on for her. This gal is now killing it because she found her purpose and she went out there to your point, Sarah, she went out there and found the need and offered her service. It's just all about giving an offering of your service and but going out there, finding the need and offering it. So that takes calls. <laughs> it does. It does. But you get to do that. That's the yes. part of your job. Yes. Uh, one, one of my agents always says, that he has a license to socialize. That's it. This is what your license is. Like you, it's a, it's a privilege to get to do what we get to do in this industry. Um, and it's a joy. I mean, honestly, we wouldn't be, some, some real estate agents maybe get into the industry thinking it's just going to be quick, easy money. Um, but I think that, you know, once you're in it and once you're there, you really do realize like it is, um, it's such it's so much more than just making money. It really is touching lives and being an integral part in people's stories. Uh, we do have a question. Um, any ideas on helping me put in my scripts to prospective clients? Things like, um, what will my services do to help you give back time, make money, and provide a positive reputation? Who is that question from? That is from Donna. That one might be Donna's with us in our Reno office. Reno's representing. Oh, hi, Donna. You know what, Donna? I am going to give you the very annoying answer. So, <laughs> oh, look at She's all excited. Hi, Donna. So my annoying answer to that is ask more questions of your clients. Peel back that onion a little bit more. Every single client has a whole swoo of clients that they, you know, a whole list of their database that they're dealing with. And every story is different. So I always say, I, I love, I'm, I'm a researcher of stories. I love hearing people's stories. So Donna, for you, I would say, you know, one or a couple scripts isn't going to work for the masses. Um, go and peel the onion for each individual client that you have and individualize those, 
those scripts for them based on what their individual offer is to the client. Because every realtor, every lender, every BDM is different. So what is their value add and what's their true need of their client? It's all different. So I think scripts are great, but I don't think they're the end all be all. I, I would love to see you be, you know, um, a, a story, a story gatherer of, mm -hmm. of people. And Donna, if you want more individual help around that, I would love to help you. So call me anytime. Awesome, Cynthia. Well, I've got that an one... annoying answer for you, Donna. No. Sorry about that. No, I think, I think it is good. I mean, we, we, we really do have so many different personalities and this is what's fun about this industry too, is that, um, it's, this is one of the things I always say, there are so many different realtors. There's so many different brokerages because there's so many different clients out there. Like this is not a one size fits all industry, which I find fascinating. Like I absolutely love the fact that we get to work with such a variety of people in this industry. Everybody. I mean, it's just because everyone at some point needs, well, everybody, except for maybe, you know, homeless people need a roof over their heads. So that means that there really are, this is, this is all encompassing. This is all of mankind that um, you get to deal with in the real estate industry. So it really is an individual kind of thing, what everybody needs. And just like you and I started out today, Cynthia, you know, the first thing was, was like, Cynthia, tell me about you. Um, so really every conversation can really start with that. What's going on in your business? Um, I think one of the annoying things to, to stay away from is, you know, what asking people off the bat, what their pain points are. Um, nobody wants to be reminded that they're in pain, um, but see if you can get it organically out of them. And we really are um, in, in the title industry, we're problem solvers. You know, every single person that you're going to work with is going to have a mental list, maybe even a physical list of ways that they can help you uh, with whatever problems that you have that are going on. But we're going to keep it uplifting and we're going to be not problem solvers necessarily, but solution finders. Um, and that's a really fun part about working with such, a, you know, great business development managers, such amazing escrow teams uh, that you'll get with Landmark Title. So speaking of those pain points and um, those problem solving abilities, Cynthia, I'm going to I'm going to throw you a curveball. We didn't talk about this yesterday. Yay. <laughs> no, I was waiting for the end. Um, what do you think some of the top things are, you can give me one, two, three, whatever you think, that realtors are looking for in their industry partners, like, you know, their business development managers. What do you think realtors are looking for right now from their partners? Well, I would say collaboration and help. So, you know, when I think of what, what my personal goals are for what I'm bringing to this company and our industry is I want to build market share through teamwork and collaboration with each other and our business partners. So from my conversations that I've had, especially right now, it's, it's, it's great because we, we all have a little bit more time to collaborate with our realtor and lender partners. So collaboration is key. And also really having some real conversations. I'm sure you all have heard the saying, seeds of failure are sown during success. So mm -hmm. the last couple of years, we've all, you know, we had great success. So to help our partners, really look at that success and navigate. Were you winning or was the market winning? So hopefully, hopefully when we look at that, we'll find some gaps. You know, I think, you know, I think this was the market winning here. Nope. Maybe this was you winning here and mm -hmm. come up with some solutions, looking at, at the market where we are now and helping, helping each other 
tweak our business plan plans for 2023 so that we are thriving along with the market. So can you imagine if we chose, and back to the mindset thing, chose to thrive right now through our activities, knowing that the results will come, if we chose, this is, I'm winning right now. I'm not dependent on the market. I'm winning through my actions. Then when that market comes, sky's the limit for all of us. And so I really do believe that our realtor and lender partners, um, they, they need help with that as well. And, and we are here to do that. And I'm here to help, help all of us. So that's awesome, Cynthia. That was a really great, um, you know, I, I, I've actually never heard, that was the first time I've heard, um, are you winning or is the market winning? I like that one. I'm going to remember that. Oh, Yes. Oh, the, you know what? I mean, bottom, bottom line, we're all in this together and let's, let's keep it that way. It's time for us to all lean on each other and, and collaborate and help each other. We're all in it together. We're not individual islands. Lean, lean on each other and, and let's win 2023 and beyond. Love it. Well, if you guys have any other questions, please please put them up in the, the question and answer window um, or reach out to Cynthia. Uh, you can, you know, you can get a hold of her through a landmark title. Um, cell you phone. Know, yeah, her cell phone. If you want to give her a call, if you need her contact information, Cynthia, I don't know if you want to put it in the chat yeah. window or people can Here, reach I'll out. I'll just to say her. it. Okay. I'll say it because I'm on my iPad. Um, oh, yes. Yeah. So um, my cell is 602. 881-0117. I'll repeat 602-881-0117. Text or call. I love to help and I'm always available to help and um, just here for you. Absolutely. And, and I will tell you, I, I want to say that coming to Landmark, I'm going to piggyback on what you said way at the beginning, Sarah has been a breath of fresh air. And, you know, we're talking about growth in 2023. And, you know, last year I turned 50, turned, turned 50, realized I had been in the title insurance business for 34 years. I was pretty comfortable where I was at um, because I was with my original gig for 17 years and then my last gig for 18 years. So moving over to Landmark, I did not take it lightly. I took it seriously and I took a huge leap of faith with, I, which I think we all need to do. And Sarah, you know, this better than anybody. You walked in about an hour after my first day here. I'm going, Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm here. And then this girl, fire hose me. And, <laughs> you know, yeah. I walk in. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Whoa, where am I? You know? And so I will tell you the welcome committee and everybody has been so warm and I can feel when you speak of that collaboration and the culture here, I feel that. And I'm only a couple of weeks in and I'm so excited to meet everybody and to be here. And um, I just appreciate the opportunity. I really, really do. I'm full of gratitude. Well, well we're glad to have you here, Cynthia. And speaking, speaking of this amazing collaboration at Landmark Title, it's time for the portion that we wrap up with uh, Marketing Matters when we talk about upcoming classes and events. Yay. I don't know that you knew that, Cynthia, that we do this. I didn't. This is all oh, new. Yeah. So, yay, okay. Sarah, teaching me. Yes. So, so collaboration and and just having this cohesive um, partnership with all of our business development managers is something unique that you really won't find at most title companies. We We love to share what it is that we're doing because it benefits us. It benefits um, all the agents that we have the opportunity to work with. So I always share what's going on from everybody. And even if you know you're an agent and you work with 
a business development manager that isn't hosting the class that we share here on Marketing Matters, guess what? We would still love for you to take it. We'd still love for you to be involved because it's not about, you know, whose client it is and, you know, what, what only what they can do for their client. It is about what we as a company can do for you to make you stronger, make you better. And by giving that forward, it always comes back to us. And that's really how we've grown so rapidly in just the last few years. So rapid growth also includes our Prescott office celebrating their one year anniversary. Michelle, I think you're on. I, I cannot believe that it's been a year. I mean, I feel like you've been with Landmark forever. Uh, but they are celebrating their one year anniversary, January 10th. So if you're a Prescott agent and oh. you want to, you know, pop up there from two to four in the afternoon, it's going to be at their office. Go check it out. This is a great team. Um, I love everybody. But even at Christmas, my boyfriend, I, I look over and he's sitting with the Prescott people. Um, you know, this is, they're just, they're such a fun group. So go check it out. Even if you're here in Phoenix and you want to go see their office, go, it, they might have snow still. It would be awesome. Right. All right. And then we've got headshots. Hey, new year, right? New year, new you, you want a headshot, you want to <laughs> represent, you know, the, the seasoned veteran that you've become, um, Go get your headshots done. It's a great, you, you can never have enough pictures of yourself in real estate. This is a personal opinion, but I think that goes across because you need it for marketing. Um, so Renee is hosting this. This is going to be Thursday, January 12th in the morning, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. So reach out. This is going to be at the atrium in Arrowhead. It's only $20 per person, right? So get your 2023 marketing updated, good to go, headshots, love it. Then Prescott's having a vision board party. Um, Michelle, I wish I wish that this was here in the Valley. Um, you, as much as I talk about goal setting and planning and everything, I've actually never done a vision board. So um, one of these days, I'm gonna have to get on this trend. I write down goals, but I am a visual person. So if, if you're really wanting to set up a visual representation of what you want this next year to look like, get in on a vision board. Uh, Prescott's doing one. If you want uh, one hosted near you, reach out to your business development managers and uh, they can set it up. And it, this is a very good, effective way. This one in Prescott's going to be on Thursday or yeah, January 12th as well from 4 to 6 p.m. So if you would like uh, to attend, let Michelle know. And then wrapping it up, we've got an uh, ask an appraiser, question and answer, lunch and learn. Yes, I said lunch. I know everybody likes to be fed. So Renee is going to feed you on January 18th. This is going to be from 12 to 1 30 p.m. And this is also going to be at the atrium in Arrowhead. So if you'd like to attend any of those, um, I know that a lot of you are looking for CE classes. We're going to be rolling all of those out as well, um, including our monthly Zoom CE classes with Landmark Title. So stay tuned, stay posted, and we're going to get you guys all the good stuff in 2023. And then thank you, of course, to our business development management team. You guys hear me reference them a lot on this webinar. They tune in to every week. Uh, they are available to help you with anything that you need. Cynthia, we're going to throw your picture up on here now, too, now that it's oh official, boy. now that you're here. <laughs> so, and if you don't already work with one of these great business development managers, um, let Cynthia and I know, and we'd love to make the introduction. Uh, whether, you know, you're in the East Valley with Beth or you work with Valley Wide Title, Becky, Melinda's in the Scottsdale area. Mary is Central Phoenix and, you know, all over the Valley. Patty and Michael, West Valley, Renee, West Valley, Michelle up in Prescott, Tom in the Scottsdale area. We cover everything. So make sure that you're working with them and um, make sure, of course, that you are working with a landmark title. We have seven offices across the Valley to service you as well as one in Prescott 
and a couple up in Nevada. So let us know if you have any questions. Please think of us on your next contract. Our escrow and title team would love to work with you, as well as, of course, our business development management team. And Cynthia would love to work with you as well. So please let us know if you guys have any questions. And we're looking forward to an amazing 2023 with all of you. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks, guys. You all have an amazing day. Oh, and we'll see you tomorrow on Market Insights. I did not put that flyer in there, but we do have Market Insights tomorrow. That is our monthly um, market stats webinar tomorrow at 930. So make sure you're registered. I know most of you that are probably on this are already registered. If you're not, reach out for the link. You want to get on this because knowledge is power in our industry.